Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, I'm going to give you the big picture of aerobic respiration. I will show you how glycolysis, link reaction, Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation work together to produce ATP. This is a eukaryotic cell. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm. Link reaction and Krebs cycle occur in the matrix of mitochondrion. The components needed for oxidative phosphorylation are found on the inner membrane of mitochondrion. First, two ATP are used to phosphorylate glucose. It is converted into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. The activated sugar then splits into two triosphosphate molecules, each with three carbons. TP are further oxidized to pyruvate. Dehydrogenation occur, where hydrogen is removed from TP and accepted by a coenzyme named NAD, turn it into reduced NAD. There is a small yield of ATP here and is known as substrate link reactions or substrate level phosphorylation. It means a phosphoryl group is directly transferred to ADP from another phosphorylated compound. This is not oxidative phosphorylation. When oxygen is available, pyruvate will go through link reaction. Reduced NAD will move to the inner membrane of mitochondrion, takes part in oxidative phosphorylation. Pyruvates enter the matrix of mitochondrion for link reaction. Three events occur here. Number one, decarboxylation, where a carbon dioxide is released. Number two, dehydrogenation. Similar to what happened in glycolysis, a hydrogen is removed and a molecule of NAD is reduced. Number three, coenzyme A is added. These three steps convert pyruvate into acetyl-CoA, which will then involve in Krebs cycle. A compound called oxaloacetate, which has four carbons, except the two carbons fragments from acetyl-CoA. A six carbons compound named citrate is formed, and coenzyme A can be reused in the link reaction. A series of small steps occur, reconvert citrate to oxaloacetate. Decarboxylation occurs twice. Two molecules of carbon dioxide are released. Dehydrogenation occurs as well. Hydrogen atoms are removed and transferred to NAD and FAD. FAD is another coenzyme which is similar to NAD. Three reduce NAD and one reduce FAD form per cycle. GTP, a molecule which is similar to ATP, is produced by substrate level phosphorylation. Oxidative phosphorylation also occurs in the mitochondrion. The electron transport chain, which made up by several electron carriers, and stock particles which contain ATP synthase are found on the inner membrane of mitochondrion. Reduced NAD and reduced FAD that were formed in the previous stages arrive at the inner membrane of mitochondrion. They are being oxidized and hydrogen is released. Hydrogen then splits into proton and electron. The electron passes along the carriers. Energy loss from the electron is used by the protein carriers to pump protons into the intermembranous space. This leads to the development of proton gradient. Due to the gradient, protons tend to re-enter matrix, but the only passage available is through the ATP synthase. When protons pass through ATP synthase, ATP is produced. The electron at the end of ETC is transferred to the final electron acceptor, oxygen, Addition of proton leads to the formation of H2O. Now, let's put all the processes together in one picture. Glucose is oxidized during glycolysis. The end product, pyruvate, goes through link reaction and forms acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA participates in Krebs cycle. All the reduced NAD and reduced FAD produced in these stages go through oxidative phosphorylation and produce a lot of ATP. And this is the big picture of aerobic respiration. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment or subscribe below. You can also follow me on Facebook. See you soon.